This story is for those people who are not satisfied with their life be happier than them. To understand this story, watch till the end. Once upon a time, a Riven was very unhappy with his life. One day he started crying while sitting on the branch of a tree. A monk was sitting on the tree. Just then, a drop of the raven's tears fell on the monk's cheek. The monk raised his hand and saw that a crow was crying. The monk asked, What's the matter, my friend? Why are you crying? The raven said, The O oh, wise one, I am very upset with my life. No one loves me. People shoo me away in disgrace. No one gives me anything to eat. Everyone hates me. Death is better than such life. Hearing the raven's words, Monk's heart filled with sympathy, he said to the raven, My friend, we should learn to be happy in whatever condition we are in. But the raven did not understand the wisdom of the monk and kept on crying. Then the monk said, Don't be upset. Tell me what you want to be. I can make you that with my mantra. Raven became happy and said, Oh, blessed one, if you want to do me a favor, then please make me a swan. The monk said, Okay, I will make you a swan, but first go to the swan and ask him whether he is happy or not with his life. You go and find out till then, I wait for you here. Raven happily flew away to meet swan. He saw a swan swimming in the pond. He went swan and said how beautiful you are. You are as white as milk. Everyone loves you. You must be the happiest bird in the world. Swan said to the raven with a sad heart, No, my friend, I am not happy. There are so many beautiful colors in the world. But I don't have any color white is nothing color. I think a parrot must be the happiest bird in the world. He is so colorful. Hearing this, the raven flew away from there and reached the parrot. He said to the parrot, Oh, parrot, you are so colorful and beautiful. You must be the happiest bird in the world. The parrot said to the raven, no, my friend, I am not happy. People keep parrots in a cage. I am always afraid that someone may hold me and lock me in a cage. I think the peacock is the happiest bird in the world. Hearing this, the raven flew away around looking for a peacock. After searching for a long time, he finally got a peacock which was in a cage in the zoo. He saw that hundreds of people had gathered to see him. After the people left, the raven approached the peacock and said, Dear peacock, you are so beautiful every day, thousands of people come to see you. And look at me when people see me, they immediately shoo me away. I think you must be the happiest bird on the planet, the peacock replied. Said he said, I always thought I was the most beautiful and happy bird on the planet. But because of my beauty, I am entrapped in the zoo. When people pluck my colorful feathers to make decorative things, it hurts me a lot. The peacock took a deep sigh and said, I am not happy. My friend the raven was surprised to hear this from the peacock. He asked him if you are not happy. Then whom do you think the happiest bird in the world? The peacock said, I have examined the zoo very carefully, and I have realized that you, the raven, the only bird not kept in the cage, people don't try to catch you and entrap you in the cages. So for the past few days I have been thinking that if I were raven, I could happily roam everywhere and I would be free. Hearing this, the raven flew away from there, and today for the first time he was feeling happy to be raven. He came back to that sage and said, O oh, wise one, I do not want to be anything else. I am fine what I am. If you feel our lives, we will find that this is our problem too. We make necessary comparison with others and then become sad and curse ourselves. We don't tell you what we have, and this all leads to vicious cycles of unhappiness. You should learn to be happy in what you have instead of looking at what you don't have. 